Hey Flosstube, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle and I wanted to do a quick Flosstube Extra video to talk to you about the difference between old and new dimensions kits. I've been collecting these kits for quite a few years and they have made some changes over the years, one of which is the really big change that might be a deal breaker for some of you. So the packaging, there are the standard Dimensions kits and the Dimensions Gold kits, and we'll talk about those a little bit separately. The standard Dimension kits, their packaging has not changed over the years. They're still in plastic. I mean, if you want to get excited and say that they've added these little hard plastic hang tabs, I don't think that's significant. From what I have been able to tell from the kits that I own, the charts have not change significantly. They still use the blue and red and black and I find them very readable. The packaging on the gold collection kits, they used to come in these card matte cardboard sleeves with a bag inside and now they come in the hard plastic sleeves which I think are supposed to be resealable. I've never had I don't care for them. I move the projects into my own project bags. The big difference between the two, the one that may make or break whether you are willing to work with an older dimensions kit, is the floss. The new kits have the floss sorted for you and labeled on these absolutely wonderful cardboard tags. There's nothing for you to do. You can start stitching immediately. The old kits give you a tangle of floss. Now, there will be on the pattern, it will tell have the floss sorted into bundles with color-coded yarn around them. It will tell you how many strands there are of each color. So sorting them, I used to look at it as a necessary evil. I still look at it as a necessary evil if that is a chart or a kit that I want to stitch. Boy, that's got a lot of blue and gold. But I also really want to stitch the Titanic, so one of these days I'm gonna decide to sit down and sort through that blue and gold. For Maggie the Messmaker, I'm totally happy to have the work done for me. And I have seen, and the reason I'm making this video is I have seen some stitchers get really angry when they purchase a kit and find that unlabeled mess of floss. 20 years ago when I started cross stitching, that was how it came. Now we are spoiled and we've got new packaging, which is awesome, but if you are going to buy an older kit or a secondhand kit on eBay or at the thrift store or wherever, be aware that those floss organizers are a newer development and back in the old days they expected you to sort out the colors on your own. I haven't been able to call my mom and check. I am pretty sure that her kit of Maggie the Messmaker, which I bought for her quite a few years ago, has unsorted floss. I have purchased Frederick the Literate twice because the first time I tried to stitch it was before I knew how to grid and I messed it up so badly that I think I threw it away. In any case, I can't find it now and I did buy a new kit. The new kit comes with the sorted floss and the organizers, the old one I had to sort it myself and that was not one of my issues. It was having a hard time counting on Black Ada before I knew about gridding. So that is the big dis difference between old dimensions kits versus new dimension kits. If you are buying an older kit, be aware of it. If you want to stitch an older kit that is no longer in production, I hate to say it, but you are going to have to sort floss. Or find a conversion chart and buy yourself new BMC, which is of course also an option. Let me know how bad on the scale of horrible cross-stitching tasks do you find sorting unlabeled floss to be? It used to terrify me. I'm not as hesitant to do it now as I was back then. Like I said, it's a necessary evil and it's not even all that evil if you do it in good lighting and use a color 
what is that thing called? The color card to compare the colors to. It is not that bad. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. I am Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again very soon.